What's going on? Welcome back to another episode in this Dragon Age Velgard saga series that we are doing where we're playing the entire game blindly, meaning I don't look up any information, I haven't watched, and I will not watch anybody else play, and it's literally me just using my information based upon previous Dragon Age games, which I played them all, um, to find like treasures and loots and all that, and we are doing it like every two episodes we do the main story which we just wrapped up if you saw the last time we got tosh and we released the we helped defeat the anton by releasing the dragon that they uh were trying to kill and take so we just did that and now we're gonna dive into neve's or nev's story her background a little bit as we go back to the docks to let her uh go through some of her contacts and see what's been going on we just got a message from lucanus who told us treviso is blighted worse than they thought so it looks like we're going to be heading back to treviso to help lucanus and then of course uh we have the dreadwolf saga that we're still working on as well uh, so we're going to try to do as many of these side backstories um but to kick this all off today we're going to start uh by talking to tosh to get more quests from her we have a random quest that popped up that we gotta see what's it about and we're gonna talk to anybody that we can before we start these side quests so this may be a little bit longer episode so i do apologize for that uh, but it's going to be a filling one so without further ado let's dive into this my name is sig i am a i'm normally a streamer uh, but fairly busy nowadays with the holidays and the kids being in school and all the extracurricular activities going on so these are all now becoming youtube exclusive more or less for the series um, I do still live stream sporadically, so best way to stay up to date and find out when I do is like and subscribe here and turn the bell icon on to find out more about or to get notified when I do go live. Check the description to find out more, like partnerships and promotion codes and discounts and all that. So, but I'm going to shut up. We're going to dive into this. Let's go talk to Tosh and let's see what we can uncover in today's episode. Sit back, enjoy, and as always, take a break from reality. And let's get in some fantasy as we decompress from adulting. Let's go. Here is the message that sent us. Treviso is blighted. We are we have we have six companions. We are still missing one more. Um, we can't use Lucanus just yet, so that's why I think we're gonna have to go back to Treviso so I can unlock him. My character, he's a Mourn Watcher. He's an Elf Rogue, so let's get started in this. Usually have to dodge traps and fight spiders to see this much old Elven stuff. Talk to Isabella if you want to sell any of it. She'll get you a good deal. Spoken like a veteran treasure hunter. Yep, for gold and glory. The lords make runs no one else can. Isabella's undies would catch fire if she saw all this. Bet you deal with a lot of nasty traps during those treasure hunts. Yep. What's the most complicated one you've dealt with? Old Elven Armory. Had letters on tiles. Probably supposed to spell out the name of a god or something. Probably. I don't read Elven. Found handholds in the ceiling and swung across. That sounds more like a puzzle than a trap. Ugh, puzzles. See, I like some puzzles, but not when they're just thrown in. Right? I ran into one while traveling with Varric. It was one of those who sits in which seat things. Ugh, where the guy with an ax has to sit to the left of the guy who likes brandy? Exactly. Who cares that much about seating arrangements? Why is that controlling the lock on an ancient treasure chest? It's Vashadon. Just pick a chair. So why do the Lords of Fortune care enough about dragons to have a dedicated dragon hunter? Lots of great old crap ends up in dragon hordes. Why do dragons care about gathering treasure? It's not like they go to the market. Dragons like metals and gems. Anything glittery catches their eye. Huh, so they're like really large magpies? Mm hmm. Kinda. And they live for centuries. 
Lots of time to gather a bunch of shiny crap. Plus, all the gear carried by idiots who thought they could kill a dragon. I'd appreciate it if you avoided fencing any of the elven artifacts, unless Bellara tells you it's okay. Don't worry about that. The Lords of Fortune aren't thieves. I mean, aren't you, though? Nah. Anything we hunt is salvage. Old forgotten ruins and crap. And we make sure we're not screwing over a culture that lost it. That's what my mother does with the Kunari stuff. Huh. How does the Ravani Royal Guard feel about the Lords of Fortune? They used to complain about us. But that was before the Antam invaded Ravane. And now Ravane sees the benefits of having a bunch of heavily armed people on their side. Same for the Pirate Armada. It's bigger than Ravane's official navy. But we're also helping save old artifacts. The Antam are burning ruins as they move south. We get artifacts out before the Antam destroy them. Magical stuff. Cultural stuff. Stuff you don't want to lose. So your mother appraises Kunari artifacts the Lords of Fortune find? Yeah. She tells them how rare something is. How much it might be worth. Also tells them if they found something cultural. Uh, cultural? You know, important. Stuff you don't want going to some rich noble's collection. The Lords send that stuff back to the Kunari in Parvalin. They pay the Lords a finder's fee. Interesting. The lords do all this out of the goodness of their hearts? We do get paid. Name another job where you get danger pay for killing giant spiders. Right. For gold and glory. The lords are good people. They helped my mother when she came here from Kantar. She got here with nothing but me and the clothes on her back. The only skill she had was Kanari history. The lords gave her work. We should do this again. Grab a drink, share our tallest tales. Okay, I was gonna go back to Ravane later. Got a thing to do for my mother. You can come along, if you want. Do I need to be ready for combat or traps? Nah. All right, just let me know when. Offer, dweller. I will answer. You're up late. You're awake to notice. Can't sleep? I know, I'm awake to ask. <laughs> I sleep when I can get it. And this place, it's too quiet for that. 
way too quiet and peaceful. Who knows what's hiding in the walls? Seriously. <laughs> okay, what works then? How do you sleep? I don't know. Chase the right bastard through the wrong ritual? It'll knock you right out. Of course, you might wake up with a new accessory. Really? You woke up and... Just like that. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> there was a bit more in the middle. The ritual did a number. And now? It's not what keeps me up at night. It's not the quiet. I never could sleep once work gets in my head. But what's got you up at night? Same. Can't sit still. Can't stop thinking about everything. There's always something to chase. Restlessness catches. Get one person in a room nervous, the whole place twitches. One person can't sleep. It's only getting later. Get out while you can. And if it's already too late? Don't tell me you're a lost cause. I might be. I know the feeling. Carving monsters, huh? Didn't figure you for an artist. This? It's by necessity. If you know your enemy, their weak spots, maybe you live another day. Or you could just bring along a really big sword. Only if you know what to do with it. You hit a rageling in the flank, you'll just send him into a frenzy. And these will help? Standard bestiaries are always some mage drawing things they've never seen, taking the piss out of it. They don't understand how when the hunt ends and you come nose to nose with an ogre, someone's going to die. So I'm making the real Monster Hunter manual. Who are you doing it for? Balmor, that imbecile in Tebinter, lecturing on things he doesn't know about. And Ludric over in Ravain, Thinks taking a rock wraith down with a lucky shot makes him a champion. Yeah, Ludric and his ego. You ever met Ludric? Well, uh... Because he's been dead 300 years, living off the legend of one fluke arrow. Oh, I, uh, just wanted to make you feel better. <laughs> My reward is showing these idiots how it's done. You want pictures of monsters? <laughs> I can provide some corpses. A corpse? Nah. Now if you pose next to a Vartero still breathing down your neck, I'll think about it. Where's the Gloom Howler? Can't carve it till I know what it is. You want a piece of the Howler boy? Is he ready? Was I ready the first time I fought a Herlock? Well, you're still alive. I got my ass handed to me, broke four ribs and cracked my jaw. Then I got back up and drove a blade through its skull. In this line of work, Asan and I are only as strong as the quarry we hunt. Maybe, but go easy on him. He's still getting the hang of things. He runs into an ogre. It won't care. It'll eat him for lunch. I didn't mean your lunch. <laughs> Too late. You said the magic word. See you around. My apology, that one was a waste of time, I guess.
Hey, you heard of the Hall of Valor? It's a fighting arena with the Lords. Interesting. Just tell me when you're ready. All right, we've talked enough. Now, let's go to docks. And we can start the side quest for the study of Dock Town with Dev. Sorry. Amber, sorry, because she needs pretty bad. <laughs> You had me followed. Inquired about the candle hob. They carry messages through the. Is this for us? Strange. It wants us to find more. Are we here for the Shadow Dragons? I trade news with the Shadows, but it takes more than one source to get along here. Besides, I was doing this before they came knocking, before Varret, too, right here in Docktown. Not as fancy as I expected. Because Tevinter Majors are rich and power hungry. Some of the buildings here float. The Imperium earned its reputation, but not through me, not my style. Come on. There's paper sellers all over here. Want to see if they got your name right? <laughs> Most papers don't say much, but read between the lines and you pick up a thing or two. I'm not here as much lately. I'll take what news I can get. Let's grab a few copies. We'll see if we can find Bellara's cereals, too. All right. Let's go. So, before Varric, before the Shadows, you worked for... Same as now. People who find me and have jobs are worth taking. Docktown people, runaways, the desperate. And you do this on your own? I've got contacts, informants, people I cross paths with, but at the end of the day, yeah, it's just me. Okay, keep an eye out for paper Trouble sellers. We'll start on the north Magic side of Lower no. City. How many do we need? Don't worry, I'm paying. Let's get started. How'd you fall in with the shadows? I'd worked with some of them before. Not that they were upfront about it. What changed? I was after a missing person. The Viper was hunting slavers. Our paths had the same end. And your missing you person? You're Free to and first. breathing when we finished. The shadows brought me in after that. So most of the time you work here alone. You Another like it that rebellion? way? Here's it's... what we know. I've got a contact who works this area. Let's see if he's around. What happened in Marta's Pell? First hand account. This one. You've got a good eye. Okay, the charm's good against all manner of curses and manipulation. Fair price, and you won't find better in the Circle District. You won't find better at the Circle, but you will off the docks. For half the price and twice the enchantment. Nev. Hmm. <laughs> Alec? Oh, if you say it's... Uh, uh, thanks, I I'll pass. Uh, sorry. Hey, if I'd known, I would have told you. Come back next week. I'll buy another paper. I write them myself. The Magisters. 
They don't print the truth. Most honest thing I'll hear today. What about you? Is there something you're buying, my friend? Rook. Let's see. Embalming liquids? A bone saw? Right. I'll, uh... Uh... Nice friend, Nev. Why'd you really stop by? Just looking for gossip. Not much that'd interest you. We chased a relic through Ducktown. The buyer was Venatori, but the smuggler belonged to the Thread Crime Syndicate. You're a Thread? We don't deal with cultists. Your smuggler broke the rules. She's out. And the Venatori? There's been more in Docktown. Boss says it's under control. But between us, I don't like it. Then it's worth keeping an eye on. If you hear anything, so will you. You know a member of the Thread Crime Syndicate, personally. Don't tell me you're surprised. With you? I thought surprise was a given. Careful. Surprises here lead to trouble. Trouble's not always a bad thing. <laughs> All right. Come on. If we want more gossip, we need more papers. Let's head to the south side. You've lived in Docktown your whole life. Since I was born. Unless I'm out of the city for a job. I've had a few apartments around town. The current one, it's not the last. White house, but it's mine. What happened in Marnus Pell? First hand account. You've been an investigator for a while. It's not a short story. You've made it this far. The best cereal is there a secret? The Trust people enough to get things done, here. not enough to get you killed. And that's how you stay out of trouble? No. But it's the best shot you've got. Circle District Gossip. Read the latest. You know, Varric hired me not far from here. Come on, Slick. Stop a ritual. Save the world. It'll be fun. I should have said no. Scandal and enchantment. Read it here first. The best serial in Min Rampus. The latest chapter is here. The real news in Docktown. Get it here. Scandal and enchantment. Read it here first. The real news in Docktown. Get it here. Read the latest. When did we get this? Come to buy? I'm sure we can strike a deal. First. I came down here to procure particular items. I'm told the real news is a in discreet Get it here. Scandal and enchantment. Read it here first. It's well made. You have my word. The real news in Docktown. Get it here. Scandal and enchantment. Read it here first. Paper. Thanks. I think we've got enough. The real what now? News in Docktown. Now I'm starving. Get and I know the best place in the city.
Scandal and enchantment. Read it here first. Doing all right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm good. Um... The lighthouse doesn't have this. What? A view of the water. I don't know. It helps me think. But we've got places to be. Come on. You! This fish won't eat itself. I, I said next time you were here, it was free. Sure thing, Hal. Next time. Yeah, yeah. It's always something. Joining Varric, us, do you really wish you'd said no? No. I just have a bad habit of picking jobs that go sideways. You think I'd learn? I'm the same way, taking jobs that go wrong. I'm basically a walking disaster. So you're saying I'm a disaster? I'm saying you're not alone. <laughs> Farrick said this job would end with Solas. We'd stop a ritual, then I'd walk away. But those gods escaped. Not much of a win. And if the world falls... The city goes too. It's not like I'll find work then. Is that why you said yes? To save Minrathis? People will tell you Minrathis is broken. And they're right. It's corrupt. Petty. Saving the world won't fix it. I take the small wins, Rook. Hal serving fish another day. Getting past the next scrape alive. Sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes you get more. But the tables always turn. It's better if you know it's coming. We, uh, got in over our heads, didn't we? Same old story. The gods weren't a twist? I've seen worse. Then I'm glad you stuck around. Misery loves company. Sorry, I was trying to get a screenshot. So, if it shows up in the video... Apologies, if not, you saw nothing. Alright, we're going to just keep this at a shorter episode. Very quick, easy. Got to read between the lines for a lot of this stuff to see what's coming next uh, but speaking of what's coming next we do have quite a bit uh, <clears throat> we have a couple factions we can do where you can continue on the Dreadwolf saga to find out more about Solus and his past we still have a companion quest for Tosh where we go back to uh, Ravine and help her mom and then of course we also have where the dead must go, which is the next storyline uh, for the overall game. So this is where we go back to Necropolis Halls, which is my character's old stomping ground as a Mourn Watcher. So we'll be going back to that. Um, again, some of these episodes will be a little bit longer than others. Some will be very short and condensed to just kind of get the uh, hanging lines out of the way um, and to get you a quick show of what there is. Also, like if you're playing this game too, and you're like, man, I really don't know if I want to do these side quests. These are good ways to kind of figure it out too, because it's a quick in and out. Um, very short episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
if you want to get notified when the next episode comes out or any other content when live streams happen you need to turn the bell icon on and make sure you get notifications set to alert so without further ado i do greatly appreciate y'all stopping by i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and as always take care stay safe stay healthy if you enjoy the show Peace out.